Well, my last video was so long, I'm going to try to make this one as short and sweet as possible. Uh, <clears throat> up to number 19 on my fantasy playlist, June 13, 1986, Kenny Loggins with Danger Zone. Up one from number 20, one of the standards from the summer of 1986 from the Top Gun movie. You remember, I remember watching the Top Gun movie at the Tide Theater back in 1986, <clears throat> summer of 86, near the campus of the University of Alabama on the Strip. And uh, I remember watching, I, I love the dog fights. The, the great, the, they had some great special effects with the dog fights in the movie. I thought there was too much kissing and not enough dog fights at the time. <laughs> Starring Tom Cruise in the movie. Anyway, the, the, the song, a Danger Song, was written by, the music was provided by Giorgio Moroder, and the lyrics were written by a guy named uh, Tom Whitlock. They also wrote Take My Breath Away by Berlin. Both of those guys collaborated together. The song was offered first to Toto, but Toto turned it down because there was a conflict between the, the producers of the movie, of Top Gun, and the group's lawyers, as some kind of legal conflict, probably just something too complicated to explain in just a few minutes. And then the song was offered to Brian Adams. Brian Adams turned the song down because he thought, you know, the, the film Top Gun glorified war. The song was offered to REO Speedwagon after that. And REO Speedwagon was like, well, I tell you what, can we contribute some songs of ours to the Top Gun soundtrack? And they're like, well, no, not really. We just want you to do Danger Song. Well, <laughs> we're not going to do Danger Song. So, so much for REO Speedwagon, I suppose, on that record. Eventually, Kenny Loggins accepted it. Uh, Tom Whitlock, I believe his first name was Tom, either Tim or Tom. I'll just call him Tom. Tom Whitlock, the guy who wrote the lyrics to the record, he went to uh, Kenny Loggins' home, and he showed him the lyrics. Kenny Loggins added some flourishes of his own, and he did the record. The, uh, the, 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 pounding beat. The beat was provided by the Lynn drum machine. The Lynn drum machine that was so popular on 80s pop records. You can't get away from that Lynn drum machine which developed in the late 70s, early 80s. It was used extensively on pop records back in the big 80s. And, uh, oh, the guitar. The guitar on this record, the guitar was played by a guy named Dan Huff. Dan Huff of the group Giant. It, they, they were kind of popular in the late 80s, early 90s, the group Giant. They had that huge hit in 1990, I'll See You In My Dreams. Didn't know that Dan Huff playing the guitar on this record. And uh, that's all I got to say about this song. I'm done. All right. Oh, God, one more thing about Giorgio Moroder, though. The guy who wrote the music to this record. I, I got to give a shout-out to Giorgio Moroder. Of course, he produced Donna Summer's big hits back in the disco era, but he had this fabulous, this awesome record back in the spring of 1972. Does anybody remember Son of My Father? Son of My Father? Anybody remember that? Covered by George, there was a there was a European version of the song. Well, Giorgio Moroder's a European, but there was a group... There was another group who covered the hit, covered the song that was hit in England, but Giorgio Moroder had the hit version of that record here in America, Son of My Father by Giorgio Moroder. Thumbs up. All right, thumbs up on this Kenny Loggins record, Danger Zone, at number 19 on my fancy playlist, June 13, 1986.